This is how the Department of Defense wipes a drive so no one, not even the FBI, Toasty. can recover a single bite. All right, in the last video, if you guys saw it, it was about data recovery. We used the Ultimate USB version 2.1 to boot into a WinPE environment where we launched a live version of Recuva, and we were able to basically recover or quote unquote undelete a file that we lost. Um, that could be, again, from emptying the recycle bin or bypassing shift delete permanently deleting the file. Maybe you just did it on accident. Maybe you didn't know you needed it we walk through how to get that file back. Now on the other side of that coin, what if you have files that you need to be gone forever, for whatever reason, confidentiality, secrets, maybe you're passing down a hard drive or a flash drive to, you know, a buddy, a loved one, whatever, you no longer, maybe you upgraded your flash drive, you went from a 256 to a terabyte and you're just not gonna use it, but you had stuff on there before that maybe you don't want anyone else to see. Well, as we demoed in that last video, if you just delete them and recycle or empty the recycle bin or bypass the recycle bin, they're not really gone. We can boot into something like Recuva amongst many other tools and get those back with ease. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to shred these files like the Department of Defense does. That's where that term DOD wipe comes from so that no one can get these files back no matter what. Now, obviously, the most secure way to get rid of data is to destroy the drive, drill a hole through it, smash it. You're not going to get the data off that. But again, that's not always the use case. Maybe you're sending it back. Maybe you're handing it down, whatever the case may be. All right. So again, in that last video, we deleted the file, permanently deleted it, got past the recycle bin, all that good stuff, and we recovered it. In this video, we're going to shred it. So I'm not even going to delete it here. I'm just going to take this flash drive straight into the Ultimate USB version 2.1, and we're going to run Shred OS and annihilate this file. All right, so I'll see you over there. Welcome to the Ultimate USB version 2.1. If this is your first look at the Ultimate USB, if you're not familiar with the Ultimate USB version 2.1, definitely check that out. Link in the description. The product should be tagged here. This USB has everything. Over 50 bootable environments spanning across 13 categories. You've got antivirus and rescue, desktop OS, flyweights, forensics, games where you have a couple of arcades, run emulators and ROMs, hypervisors, miscellaneous tools, multi-tools, WinPE repair environments, network tools, pen testing and offensive security for all of you hacker nuts out there, privacy and security featuring Tails amongst others if you're down to go browse the dark web. Obviously do that at your own risk, but stay anonymous with an operating system like Tails included along with others on this USB. Server OS, a few different operating systems there and then I include some really nice Windows installation media. All right, check it out. Follow the series. I'm going category by category. I've also got a couple videos kind of highlighting the whole thing at a high level. Back to the show. All right, so be very careful with this tool. It is very powerful. Um, you don't want to mess around with it, but it does have a very great purpose. Again, that is to shred files, hard drives, whatever, so you cannot recover. But take that into consideration. You won't be able to recover this if you nuke the wrong drive, right? So we're going to go to Shred OS, boot it. Okay, here is the most important part. Make sure you select the right drive. So I have my 128 gig flash drive right here. A solid USB. You're going to hit the space bar. That's going to say wipe. Next, you're going to do capital S, so it's going to be shift and S, and that's going to start the wipe. And that's it. So do not select the wrong drive, or else, as you can see, something very bad would happen. All right, so this is obviously going to take some time. We're going to let this run all the way through, and then when it's done, we'll come back and validate that we cannot access anything on that drive, even with recovery software like Recuva that we used in the last video. All right, we'll be back when it's done. Okay, that took about two and a half hours. The drive is shredded, and we're going to go ahead and reboot. 
we'll get into one of our WinPE environments and see if we can use Recuva to see that file. We should not be able to see it after shredding it. Let's take a look. All right, we're going to use OnkTech WinPE for this. Okay. Let's take a look at our recovery tools. And we will try Recuva. And we'll point it to the flash drive. And as you can see here, it hasn't even been formatted. So there's nothing on it and it's pretty much unformatted since we literally shredded the entire drive. So we can go ahead and say format just so that we can scan it. All right, now let's see what Recuva can find. No files were found. Would you like to scan again using the deep scan? Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll let this run. It's going to take some time, but let's see if a deep scan yields any results. And there you have it. The deep scan has completed about 27 minutes to scan the 128 gig flash drive. That was with the deep scan in Recuva. Absolutely no trace of the file. So Shred OS does exactly what it's advertised to do. And it shreds the drive so that any files on there are not recoverable.